Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and for today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my personal survival world that I've been working on every now and then a lot lately but I've been working on it for almost two years now so you know we got some stuff built up. We'll go outside first. Get okay, jump right into it. I'm not gonna bore you guys. First thing we have outside, that's nothing. That's a failed iron golem farm I was tried a few months ago. This is my first house. And some sugar cane down there. Nothing fancy. Yeah, but this is my first house. Nothing that exciting. Mob farm. Right up there. This drops down into the underground base, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. You see, it's a nice world. This is the seed if everyone, anyone wants it, wants to play in the same world as me. There you go. This is my main like wheat farm. Right over here. I thought it would be cool to build like a big wheat farm like that. And... Over here is my miner with the most ratchet door of all time. We come down here. We have a little sorting system in the back. It sorts everything out. This is just extra storage for all of the cobblestone. And it just fills all up in here. I have to expand that a lot more actually. Got a lot of coal, a lot of lapis, a lot of redstone. No emeralds. A bunch of iron ore, gold, and then a bunch of diamonds. I'll show you guys down here. I wanted this to look really nice when I was building it, so I just I tried so hard on the like staircase, but I just gave up on everything down here. This is where you send it up to get sorted out and put in the chests. And you just come over here. Each one of these goes down for a while. Forgot how long, how far. Most, a lot of them stop because of, uh, like, just, like, lava in the way and all that. You already know. Same thing on the other side. Sorry if it seems like I'm trying to rush through this. I just want to get to the underground part as fast as possible, that's all. And it goes all the way down. This is where I spend a lot of my time mining whenever I need new things. Or just like want to gather up my resources. Anyways, we'll come back up here. There's nothing really around here. I didn't even finish the roof. And you come over here. This was my original, like, bee farm. Little garden area. I think it looks pretty nice, even though it does work, too. I've, I've never been in here ever since I built it. I've always just, like, ignored it. But it works. I have to harvest that eventually. And, yeah, this is my huge mob farm, which I put a pause on because I gotta build the whole, like, system underground. The whole thing up top is done, but I want to build like this. Once I, have, this is where it finishes off. Let me see, it's already like full. I want it to come down here and get sorted out underground, kind of like my miner, my mine. But I want it to look better, so I'm gonna have to practice around with that. But that's everything I literally built above ground. There's nothing else. All of my projects are underground, and this is the entrance. Not the best entrance, but it's always worked for me. I've never had a problem with it. So, yeah. When you first come in here, this was this was a small cave at first. I would live in this little corner. I had, like, wild berries growing all around here. Cause I would, and that was my food at first, because it was just so easy to get. I was going to build a fountain here, but... I I don't know why I never did, to be honest. A little, like, small river I built. And we'll actually go above ground. 
right after I show you this. This used to be my original chicken farm. See, there's still a bunch of stuff in there. You can go up here, even though there's nothing up here. I wanted this to be the original like entrance. I want to build a building like above ground, but never been, never had like never been in the mood to do that. So yeah, this is just everything up here. It's nothing. I just wanted it to look nice. Then we'll come back down here. Come over here. This is just like a loop around to go back up. Right there. I got a lot of torches everywhere. That's one thing I, I hate about it. The torches ruin the look of everything. And then over here, you have a little pathway. Over here, which I'll show you that once we go downstairs. As soon as you come down here, this is where like it starts to branch off. It goes down there, but we'll start right around here. So over here, I want to have like I want to have like the little train train station. Anyways, I want to have a little train station right here where this whole thing will be lined up with buttons with signs like telling where it's going to go. And then you press this, a minecart would pop up and then it would just send you on your way wherever you wanted to go. But that's a project for no I'm not going to get that done anytime soon considering the whole not even this part of the base is fully finished because of the torches. So that'll be a long-term project. Up here, there's nothing up here. We have a little branch to go over here. I wanted to expand out this way originally, but found the other way would be so much easier. Now, same thing down there. Then you run around here. This leads up to where I showed you before, the first layer. And this is our little wheat farm for decoration. And then you come over here, and now we're back. I'll show you guys what's over here. I originally wanted to make this little like doghouse area for a bunch of dogs, like a cool place to stay, but it seemed like kind of pointless to me to build at first, considering all other projects I've been working on. Cool. And then over here, a creeper blew up here the other day, so it's still kind of recovering. This is my enchantment table, which is like the worst spot of all time. It's the farthest like walk just to do something and got a bridge up there another bridge here anyways moving on this is the worst part of my base i think you got this little i think that i think that looks nice up there with the wheat go ahead over here this is where the real interesting things start so head over here got a little waterfall and I have this storage room, just like Ethos Lab. Got food, plants, under pearls, all that stuff. Wood, dirt, cobblestone, clay, all that stuff. This is my like main storage room for everything, really. And as soon as you come out, all the pistons drop. But you guys, I've definitely seen that gonna get into it up here is nothing actually up here I just like I kind of wanted this I built this as like a little chill area you know nice waterfall which looks ugly because all the cobblestone all the cobblestone and the slight dirt patches like that I'm gonna end up fixing one day could be five years from now or could be tomorrow I honestly don't know but that's something I want to do because it just looks ugly like look at it ruins the look of everything yeah, this is like a little park up here. Moving along. This was my first slime farm. I was able to make this into a... I found out that this was a slime chunk. And built it into a slime farm. And I'd only, like, get slimes by, like, running by and hearing them jump around below. But we fixed that. I'll show you guys later. 
This is my furnace room. Also, just like Etho's lab, because I just like the convenience and look of it, for the most part. And yeah, even though these redstone lamps do nothing, they add a nice, a nice little look to it. Even though the gravel and cobblestone ruins the look. Anyways, come up here. I have like storage room for the. Uh, how do you say? It? Furnace room. I just for forgot it, like off the top of my head. Put all the iron up here that I get throughout the cave because I just I want to smell it all down at one time. I feel like it's more fun that way. With all the iron I get from digging out caves, I just throw it up there. And this is a little main crafting table for the whole base. I use this the most out of everything. It's just the sw block switcher. Nothing too special. Over here, we have a melanin pumpkin farm. Also, just like Etho's lab. He's where I got most of my inspiration to even start an underground base. So, I've been like picking ideas from him and throwing it into my world. I know I'm not original. You guys don't have to you come at me for that. And yeah, this is another like little decorative wheat farm. And down here we have I put mass storage for cobble and just like any junk I get. Because I've I've been running out of space in my other storage rooms, especially the one in my mind. So I started putting stuff in there too. And now this is where the things start getting interesting. Alright, so this is my like little another park I built. Let me just come down here. This whole area, I just wanted it to be like a huge greenery section with a river flowing through the middle, which I think came out fairly decent. Battery low. Oh my gosh. My that scared me. Anyways. Um I want to drop all these down so it's like a flo free flowing river instead of like the one block dropping each time. And you come around over here. You got a little bridge connecting it to that. And I wanted to build a little house overlooking the park. I don't know, I thought it would be cool. So you run over here. It overlooks the park, even though the bridge kind of blocks it out. Still looks pretty cool. You can see the water, another waterfall, goes into that one little river or lake. This house has nothing, but there is something I want to show you guys up here. You yeah, see this house has like nothing at the back. It's pretty bad actually. And if you come right over here, I have my own chicken farm. Which I actually want to, I wanted to build out something over here too, but I cut this. I stopped playing for a few months and completely forgot what my plan was. This is like my automatic chicken cooker, even though I mostly eat potatoes. And speaking about potatoes, I kind of forgot to show you guys something, so I'll do that real quick before. Oh, and by the way, when you get it, the way you get out of here, you just you can just jump down. Right up there. Anyways, I forgot I forgot something, so I'll just run over there real quick and show you guys. The one thing I forgot to show you guys is right over here. You run up here. You see we have a little like bridge. You run up here, and this is my main potato farm actually. Nothing in there. This is where I get most of my potatoes. This is where I store all my potatoes. Up here. And yeah still another work in progress making it look a lot nicer but that's that's none of my priorities right now and cool thing about this is that if you run over here it connects to the main staircase i thought that was pretty cool so we'll get back to the other side of the base all right now that we are back right over here we'll get down there in a minute i want you guys to show you over here this is another cool overlook area i built you can see all the way down to the other wheat farm. And by the way, this is the latest snapshot too. Oh, 
A lot of cool things going on. This is another, like, just archway balcony I was building, but I forgot to put the grass in. Which will be for another day. And over here is just, like, a huge thing going down. But we'll see that later. We don't have that much going on on this side. You come down here. Right, we have nothing built over here. You come over here, and this is just another like green area I built. And if you come down here, this is where I want to be like the nether hub almost. I want to put the portal right over here. Because this cave ends right down there. I want to put a portal right here and just make this like a cool nether themed room eventually. I thought it would like best suit it and then get out by coming right over here. You run out, we're back. So now we'll get started with the interesting part, parts of the world. If you run over here, we got nothing going on right here. Here, these stairs just lead up to the house. And this is where all the cool things start. This is where I've been spending most of my time lately. Nothing over here yet. Let's deal with them real quick. And uh, yeah, first things first, you come down here. This is a little, like, another storage room I'm building. I've just been putting junk in here. That I've... That I'm not using. And we still gotta fill up the chests, but... We're not, we're never down there even looking at it for now, so... It's fine as it is. Now if you run over here... This is the, just like a cool thing, pit of grass going down into lava. Nothing special with that. And if you come over here, this is an unfinished project. Nowhere even near finished. This is my, um... What do you call it? Spider, uh, cave spider farm that I like rarely use. You can see how tightly how tight everything is. Like this is the lake right up right above me for the floor. So that's the biggest challenge building is how like compact I make everything. The spiders come in here and then you just kill them off as they come, just like that. See, it's pretty slow. But it works. I used it a little bit when I first built it and then just like ditched it. I don't even know why. I just did. Anyways, we'll come back up here. Yeah, we have nothing built on this side. I want to do something down here, but I'm not really sure what I want, what I want to put there. And these stairs lead to the other level over here and this just connects the other part of the base we'll just start with the bottom floor for now because it will be like the easiest to start with if you come over here we got nothing a whole bunch of grass but nothing i want to also like put trees here and all that i think it would be pretty cool once it's all said and done and yeah, this is just like the biggest room for now. See, I built a little river. And if you come over here, we built another like little overlooking area. It just goes straight down into lava. And uh, we, we don't have any... We've never even placed torches over there yet. So that'll be... Expansion for later. If you come over here. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. Right over here. Follow this green grass path. And this leads to my new slime farm. Which took a lot of time to build. This took me like a few days of like my free time to just build. And we'll go all the way downstairs. I'll show you show you guys how it works which it does work it's just not fully done right now because i still gotta put iron golems in the walls 
which I probably actually won't end up doing, which I'll explain that later. As you can hear, we have a hopper minecart running under all of these blocks, picking up any loot. And we'll actually we'll throw a half stack of dirt, wait for it to get picked up. As you can see, they all just got picked up by the hopper minecart, and they'll get dispensed right under there, going all the way up to top, which we'll try to run over there real quick. And I'll try to explain everything on the way, because I want to get to it before, like, the process is finished. So we'll run over there. Which is also, like, not finished at all. We'll come back over here when I'm done with that. We run over here. Right over here is where the, you see, kind of missed it. You can see them coming in. We already almost have a stack of slime balls from this farm already, from when I was building it. And uh, it gets shot up all the way into this water block and gets dumped into this chest. So, yeah, we have another... Oops. I did not mean to fall down there, so what I was trying to point out is that this, like, hopper minecart chest is still full and... It's still full. It's got a book of enchanted. I think it has respiration on it, but none of you guys care about that, to be honest. I just wanted to point that out. So anyways, we'll go back to right where we started. We're looping over here. We have a little staircase building up. This is a little weird because of just how everything landed out. And let me take care of these real quick. Now that that's out of the way, I'll be able to show you guys. This is a zombie spawner I found, and I turned it into a a um, zombie farm. And how it works, actually, is that there's a villager behind here that attracts the zombies, so they, they want to go up immediately. They get up, tossed, and then they drop to here, which is their like perfect limit. So all I have to do is this. I'm usually AFK here the most, and you can see we have a lot of loot from the from all the zombies. Yeah, they fall down here, they die. Baby zombies don't fall out either. And then I just end up throwing the garbage back in, like just like that. Built a window so you can look into it, see what's going on, see if they're spawning. And yeah. Moving along. We'll go into this section now that we already mentioned it. This is nothing big over here. I didn't do it like this. Just leads over here. Didn't do anything with this to make it look nice yet. But if you run over here, this is the part I was talking about, and it's not. It's another one, which means there's two. It's pretty cool. Anyways, this right here is my iron golem farm. Looks pretty sketchy for now. Oh, it's actually one about to spawn right now. Looks pretty sketchy right now because there's nothing. It's just like the hoppers and lava. But right above here, we have villagers and a zombie that has a name tag on it. It's a golem spawn right here. Come in and drop. But the problem is that none of these things can be three blocks high. Or at least right next to it. Right here, we got one. These can't be three high anymore because there's a chance that the golem will spawn right here and then no, no more will spawn. So nothing around here can be more than three blocks high, which is okay for now. We'll live with it. And this is where all the iron goes and we already collect a lot from the farm. So pretty sure we're safe on iron for pretty much the rest of time now. And that's everything over here. We already mentioned the slime. 
thing. You see another iron golem just spawned. This thing is insane, actually. Hopefully it doesn't even get patched or, like, they change the game to where it doesn't work anymore. Going over here. Um, you come to the right, right over here. This is what I've been working on a little bit lately. And just remove that. This is my cow farm. We only have... I don't know why they're all over there, actually. I'm going to have to fix that. That's weird. This is my cow farm. And it's still... I just started this. It's probably my most recent project I started. Because I, I start projects in such a weird way that I, like, I start, get a lot done, then stop, and start something else. That's how most of my things are. So I have all the dirt here ready to be... Put with grass once I'm done and the way you get to it is through the bottom so it's this is just my little like area above this is a cave spider spawner and I didn't want to break it so I just left it in the ground like that and you can see I guess they're spawning down there so going over here this is nothing maybe we'll branch out over here maybe we won't I don't know, only time will tell when you come in here. And the way you get to the cows are actually through one of the things right here. Pretty sure it's this one. Yep, right over here. But for some reason the cows are over here. I'll have to fix that eventually. But yeah, that is pretty much the whole base. There's more over here. How did it all get out? That is the whole base. We'll just get back to spawn first before we talk about anything else. All right, everyone. Now that we're at the main starting point, there's a few things I want to talk about. I finished the tour. So you, that's, that's all you wanted to watch. You could click off. I just want to talk about the channel for a hot minute real quick and... Yeah, I want to turn this also into a uh, like survival series kind of. I don't know if any of you guys saw my um, Nostalgia Craft first episode. I'm already working on the second episode, so that should hopefully be out soon too. But since I just I like playing with new Minecraft as well, I figured this might be a good world to start off in. You guys don't have to watch the beginning stages. You jump right into like an already developed world. Just building more bigger, cooler things onto it. So I'll probably turn this into a series as well. Depending how I'm feeling. Maybe I'll reconsider it. But this is what I want to do for now. And hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys have any ideas too for like different series I can make. Or like just ideas for the world or YouTube in general. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I will really wanted to say. It's already nighttime. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. So I guess hope you guys enjoyed the little world tour I had. And if you could, always drop a like and subscribe. It always helps me out. Especially that I'm still a pretty small creator. So that always helps out a lot. Anyways, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.